Hello, and thanks for choosing to watch this CLOD video in which we look at setting up using contracts within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. A contract can be set up when you've sold a customer a group of services or products and you would like to specify coverage dates, let's say for a warranty period. Alternatively, you may sell a customer a specific service or support contract to cover particular products they have bought, and which may entitle them to log a number of cases. When adding a case, you can then check if a customer has contract coverage. Adding a contract is straightforward. You can do it from the contracts area under the service navigation where we are now, or from the contract area at a particular customer for whom the contract is for. Either way, click New and you are asked to choose from a contract template. You can set up any number of templates which define the coverage type i.e. date coverage or case allotment amongst other things. I'll choose service and then click OK. Now I can fill in the required information for my contract, starting with the contract name and also the linked customer. Each contract must have a start date and end date. The billing information is really for information purposes such as reporting, unless you have a CRM system integrated with a finance system. The billing frequency is driven by the template we initially selected. The pricing will be updated when we specify our contract lines, which are essentially the products that have been bought or we are covering. Additional details can be added along with the description of the contract and any further notes. The service level is driven by the template and could be used as a trigger for a customer service workflow. Notice also the status of draft and the allotment type that is driven by the template to the foot of the contract. Now click save. Let's add the contract lines. Click add new contract line and we can now say what is covered in that contract line. Be specific with the product information if required and also have different coverage dates per product. As this is an allotment type of number of cases, we input how many cases are covered and also put in the pricing information. Click Save. Notice that you can also specify a particular calendar to a contract line item, so you know when to support it, i.e. 9 to 5 or 24-7. We can then add more lines as required with Save and New, or we can close by clicking Save and go back to the main page. On the main page, we can click Recalculate and see the pricing information get updated. At this stage, the contract is in its draft status, so we have to click Invoice Contract to activate it. It will remain at status invoiced if the contract start date has not yet been reached, and then it will become active. Once active, you can perform actions at a later date like re renewing, holding, copying or cancelling the contract. The contracts can now be used in conjunction with adding cases. If we go into a case I have already entered, I can check if the contract exists and associate that case with it.
Once I save my case, I can go back in by using the hyperlink from the contract field. And also in the contract line items once the case has been resolved, the allotment of 20 cases will be reduced by 1. Remember also that your contract will show as part of your list of contracts within the service area. And also the contract will show against the account you linked it to. Well, that's it. An overview of contracts and how they can be used against cases. Remember to always review the help files and if you have any problems in the meantime, thanks very much for watching this Theologic video.